Yeah. Yeah. Here is the grand staircase in the reception of Vidago Hotel. It is so beautiful and I think most people would say that it's a copy of the staircase in Titanic. But in fact it's the opposite because this could have been the inspiration for the Titanic ship because this was built two years before. This was actually maintained when they did the reconstruction of the building. They maintained the grand staircase as well as the facade. And then they had these amazing interior designers to fix the rest of the hotel so it looks like it's from 1910. We're staying in the junior suite, which is probably the best room on the hotel. And we have a little living room here where Amelia, this is Amelia's bed. She sleeps right here. <laughs> no. You sleep here if you don't behave. We have honestly one of the nicest beds I've slept in for a while. This is, can I, can I? Oh, I know Amelia, she hates when I do this because now I've ruined the bed. Call the housekeeping. The highlight is the bathroom. It's so beautiful. And this is of course where Amelie, she uh, lays at least one hour a day in the bathtub. Amelie, she uh, has the world record Guinness of most different bathtubs visited in the world. How many do you think you have, Amelie? I think maybe 200 different bathtubs. <laughs> yeah, probably 200. <laughs> I've, and I've, you know, the funny thing is that I never take a bathtub. Too much work. Check this out. Woo! I love it. It's so cool that you have uh, these huge glass mirror door. This is a legit question. Why is there a phone next to the toilet? I've noticed this on many hotels, but is this in the event of like severe diarrhea? No toilet paper? You just want to talk with someone? I don't know, but I hope they clean this. <laughs> this safe here sounds depressed. Listen. It's like if robots were crying. But we are not crying because we actually stay in the best room of the entire hotel. This is the only room on the hotel that has a big balcony like this. Mm -hmm. 